Hey guys, Thrasher here. We have a new update and a new PvP season. Let's talk about it right now. Okay, first things first, it's a brand new PvP season, so make sure you go into the PvP area and you get your rewards for last season. Hopefully you got top 10,000 so you can get the crystals. And let's go to menu and go through the news and talk about all of these different things that have changed. This is a pretty sparse update, as we know, um, simply because it wasn't a full maintenance. They didn't close the whole game down. They only closed down the PvP area and the shops. Let's uh, start at the bottom here. So, first thing here is the daily mission upgrade campaign. If we open that up, they're essentially talking about the new Ultra Space Time 6 banner, which we will review at the end of this video. Um, these are your guaranteed sparking tickets. You just have to make sure to do all of your daily missions every day and you get one ticket. When you get seven tickets, you can do one guaranteed sparking summon. You're going to get 17 of them, so you can do two guaranteed sparkings and then you have three extra for single pulls after that ends. So we'll go ahead and close that out. The next thing is we have a new scout battle. We've got the kid trunks. Uh, this is pretty standard. We have the EX1, EX2, EX3, EX4. So you get 10 chrono crystals every time you complete one of those. Make sure you have a trunks that's at level 1500 any trunks will work it can be a kid trunks it can be the super saiyan trunks it just has to be a trunks so that you can use just him to complete all four of these that'll get you an extra 40 per which is 160 on top of the 10 you get for each that's 200 overall so just make sure you have a trunks at 1500 nothing else crazy here here's the trunks that they're talking about um his z ability not great it's for blue characters and once again blue characters are not powerful in this meta and we'll explain why in just a minute let's go ahead and back out of here and then the next thing to talk about is the actual new pvp season we'll open this up space time duel uh you don't get a ton of chrono crystals it's pretty much the same as it's been the last two seasons here you just have to do pvp matches you have to win i believe 15 also there is one new thing to the missions you have to ko a certain amount of characters it's not something i would big time worry about just because it's going to happen as you win Win matches so I think it's something like KO 30 characters by the time you win 15 matches you'll have KO'd far more than 30 characters so it's not something really to worry about it just gets you a bunch of extras any which is cool but the major thing here is that Shallot's equipment is returning so we've seen that they have buffed up Shallot in the last update he can transform now hopefully they continue to make him more and more powerful as the game goes on he is getting considerably closer to sparking characters he's still not sparking tier obviously um, stat wise but he is almost viable in PvP some people will yell at me for that they'll say oh he's definitely uh, PvP viable but the big thing is regardless of how good he gets in the future this is his best equipment item right here so make sure that you are farming this and you're getting a good roll on it um, so I would do a lot of PvP to go for this thing. Outside of that, the rewards are pretty much the exact same as last season. You get some Master's Pack tickets, you get a few Chrono Crystals for doing your 15 um, battles. If you get to rank 40, I think you get the, the last piece of those Chrono Crystals. And then the season rewards, if you get top 10,000, you're going to get um, your 1,000 Chrono Crystals. Uh, and then you get some more Rare Metals. Everything is the same as it was last season, so um, nothing crazy to talk about there. Let's go ahead and back out of this. And then the, the last major thing before we actually talk about the banner are all these different chrono crystal sales the, there's nothing good in here except for this guy right here this boo is actually very good and we'll talk about him a little bit more in the banner um, but it's a, a your normal ultra space time chrono crystal pack where you pay $25 you get the boo and I believe you get 1100 uh, let's see here yeah you get 1100 chrono crystals 25 bucks depending on how much you want to spend on this game it may be worth it it may not it also depends on if you have a regeneration team he's an amazing unit for regeneration teams um, and he's a good unit overall so if he's someone that you wanted anyway this is probably worth the money to guarantee that you can get him so let's back out of here and then ultra space time number six this is the banner we're about to look at let's take a quick look at the three characters and then we'll go over to the banner itself we got super saiyan go tanks we have majin buu good and then we have debora now here's the thing about this banner none of these characters are absolutely game breaking they're not absolute must have but each one of them in their own way will make your team better if you have the team that they're meant for I guess Deborah is a little bit different, but we'll talk about him in a second So if you have hybrid Saiyans or you have Gogeta Super Saiyan Gotenks is your target He's an amazing unit. He will make either of those two setups much more powerful And then if you have the regeneration team Majin Buu is is a must-have he makes your regeneration team go from very good to absolutely amazing I would say the regeneration team is probably top tier the best team in the game if you have Majin Buu and you have Janemba and then you're th you have lots of 
options for your third character. He also has the ability to lock in a unit whenever he comes on the battlefield, so he is the reason that blue units are still not great. If your opponent has a Majin Buu, do not bring a blue on your team because he can just lock it in and kill it. If you have a Majin Buu, your opponent's blues are never safe. So blue overall is just not in a good position because of this unit. And the other unit in the game right now that can also lock units in is another green Bardock. So pretty much if you're a blue unit, you're never safe in the current meta. So you have to watch out for that. That's why blue units aren't great right now. And then you have... Deborah. The thing about Deborah that makes him very good is he's got a lot of things that are going on here that are that are nice, but he actually has a good stat spread, and he's the second character now that brings a green card to battle. Couple that with his good stat spread, and depending on the team you're running, if you have a lot of characters that have really powerful green cards, he is worth putting on a team. So let's go look at the actual banner itself. Let's close out of this, and then we'll go to summon, and we are going to click featured characters, and here's Super Saiyan Gotenks, top tier character if you ask me. Here is Majin Buu, absolutely top tier character. And then Dabura is sort of a mid tier character. He's situational depending on what kind of team you're running. And then you have Super Saiyan Teen Trunks, not great anymore. Um, I wouldn't say he's terrible, but definitely not great. And then Piccolo, he he is super old. I don't know why he's on this banner. He's not super useful. He does have regeneration tags, so if you already have Janemba and you happen to pull Majin Buu um, and you get this Piccolo, then at least you have a full regeneration team that you can run out. But he is also free to play. You can get him just from getting your Z level up. So not really useful. So in my opinion, there's three good characters that you want to pull on this, two top tier characters, and then two that are not worth pulling. So if you were to ask me, this is a three-star Dragon Ball banner. Make sure that you do your dailies. Make sure you don't pull on this until you've got both of your guaranteed sparking ticket pulls done so that way you know what you're going after. After that, if you want to spend up to 3,000 Chrono Crystals, it's an okay idea. Um, I probably will not be spending 3,000 on this just because we really only have two characters that I want to go after, and there's a good chance that I'll get at least one out of the two out of my guaranteed sparking tickets, and if I'm only aiming for one character at that point, I'm probably not going to spend the crystals. I'll probably just do my discount summons, and that's it. So that's my review on this banner, three-star Dragon Ball banner. There are some good characters, but there's also some very bad ones. And that's it for this video. If you guys think I missed anything, throw it down in the comments. Let me know what you think about these characters now that we've actually seen their stats, and if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.